pressure to compete is greater than ever for athletes and not just the pros. Performance enhancing drugs are a big issue from the highest levels of sport down to the high schools. Even over the counter supplements can be dangerous and don't always deliver on their promises. Nancy Clark has been at the forefront of sports nutrition for three decades and has worked with some of Boston's biggest names in sports. And she says the secret to sports success lies not in supplements, but in what and when you eat. Athletic performance. Most people think it starts on the practice field. Or in the weight room. The truth is, it should really start at the dinner table. Through the years, we've seen that sports nutrition now is a very integral part of a program. A lot of the colleges have sports nutritionists. Most of the professional teams have sports nutritionists because they're realizing that, you know, this stuff works, it matters. Nancy Clark is one of the pioneers of sports nutrition. She was writing books about the benefits of athletes eating well long before anyone else was even thinking about it. Well, sports nutrition is nutrition for performance. And not everybody's an athlete, but everybody needs to perform. So you need to perform at work. You know, other people need to perform at school. Other people need to perform on the baseball field or the basketball court or the soccer field. And so I talk about energy and performance. Nancy says that when combined with exercise, eating, not dieting, is actually the key to losing weight. A big part of what I do is to teach people that food is fuel. So many of my clients think that food is fattening, that it's the enemy, that they should stay away from it. But food is fuel. You know, you have a car, you put gas in it, it goes. You have a body, you put food in it, it goes a lot better. A best-selling author who's written six books on sports nutrition, Nancy believed long ago that her methods could help elite athletes. So she began knocking on the door of the Boston Celtics. So I'd read the paper, there'd be these articles like, oh, the Celtics blew it at the end, and I'd send them letters and, and um, say, you know, this is a nutrition problem, and, and I could really help your team, you know, excel. Her persistence paid off, and Nancy eventually began working as a consultant with the C's, and her biggest fan was Larry Bird. Bird with the steal behind the back to Nate Archibald, back to Bird. Right. Larry was very interested in nutrition. And so here I was with this group team, and a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, nutrition. Um, but Larry started asking questions, and every single player on that team started listening. To Bird. Over the Because I thought, if Larry, if this works for Larry, it'll probably work for me too. And it was really wonderful. That led her to helping out the Red Sox, who presented an even bigger challenge. Baseball players are notorious for having horrendous diets because they play these night games. And what's available afterwards? You know, fast food places, you know, fried Chinese food, you know, chicken wings. I mean, there's a lot of just fast foods that are available at, you know, in the middle of the night. And the guys, they're tired, they're hungry, they're, you know, stressed or wound up or whatever it is that they might be and, and they just eat whatever you want at that hour of the night. So the, the Red Sox were concerned about the quality of their diets and also about the performance of their players. So did a lot of educating about front-loading calories. You know, why do all of you eating after the game when you need your energy during the game? That same concept works for everyone. Eat healthy and regularly during the day, every four hours or so. Give your body the fuel it needs to reach your goals, whatever they may be. Hunger's physiological. The body's saying, I've burned off the food that you gave me, may I please have some more fuel? And the common answer is, nope, too busy, or nope, on a diet. And it just creates a lot of problems. I teach people how to eat. You know, doctors might teach somebody, tell somebody to go on a diet, but we know that diets don't work. Because if diets worked, then everybody in America who's ever been on a diet would be thin, and that's not the case. But people need to learn how to eat. In America, the food supply is so challenging and obesity is a huge issue. People think that dieting's the solution, but actually eating's the solution, but eating appropriately and exercising. Eating the right foods at the right time can give you a lot of energy.